What's up, you guys? It's your boy, Jay Freshman, back with another tutorial. This one, I'm going to be talking about how to make melodies a lot easier. This is a whole different approach. Well, some of you producers that are advanced may know it, but for beginners, this could be something aspiring to you, in a sense. Okay, so this is how I started off. Like, you, when it comes to music, you want to, like, try to come up with a lot of methods of how to do, like, one thing. Like, when it comes to melodies, you want to have a lot of methods of how you get inspired. So, in this one, I'm going to be using a loop. But wait, 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 before you guys jump ahead of yourself and be like, oh, this guy uses loops. First of all, I'm against any producer that feels like a another producer is not a producer because he used sample loops or other people's, um, you know, cr creative and it doesn't make sense because that's what a producer is. A producer is someone that like gathers creative from a lot of other um, singers or guitarists or pianists and brings them all together. That's what a true producer is. You know, all the people that are saying they're making their shit from scratch, dude, y'all are beat makers. Let, let y'all know the difference, man. And whoever willing to argue with me, go ahead. <laughs> You're right. You know, I, I don't really care. But... All right, without me going on to a whole long rant, all the producers that are listening, forget anybody that says, oh, if you sample, you're not a producer. Forget that. So we're going to go into this. I'm going to pull up a sample. So that's a brass sample that I got from one of these kicks. I mean, from kits, not kicks. So... What I did with loops, I don't usually use loops, and I don't have anything against it. But like I said, um, you want to come up with more than one way of doing things. So I was like, let me start a different approach. So what I did was I brought out this loop, and then I pitched it up a little. You know, you already heard how it sounded originally. I pitched it up. Hold on. Let me turn off the other melody. So it was just that after I pitched it. And honestly, my intentions was to use this loop to make a beat, but then it ended up being something different. And then after that, I was like, wait, I could turn this into, you know, a video because look what happened. I decided to add another melody around that. And this is an easier approach for beginner producers because you could be listening to a song on a radio and then, you know, you like the beat and you're you're doing your own harmonics. You're doing your own like style to it when you're hearing it. Like, um, I don't know, like for me, it's like if I'm listening to music, then it's like I feel like I could add something to it. And that's a good way to like really get your melodies going. So I added this like piano melody with it. So it goes like this. Very simple. As you can see. And then I pitched and I went up an octave because the brass went up an octave. So together it was like it was like this together. And it was easy to come up with that because if you just listen to the brass like like if you could start to like what the sample is helping me with is like it's starting off the initial idea and then I'm just continuing off of it so after that I had like a lead um I had like a lead instrument that was humming out and it went like this And I did the same with the, um, I pitched it up an octave to go with the brass. So, all together, it went like this. So, when I was doing this, I was going to let it slide like that, but the brass was just so harmonic. Like, it was so rich in harmonics that 
you know, look at the frequency of it. <laughs> look how much I was trying to mix it. I was trying to cut out a lot because it was interfering with the other sound. Look, look at it. Let me put it on default. Like that's taking over the whole spectrum. So after like continuous times of trying to like mix it, I was like, you know what? Let me just take it out. And then after I took it out, you know, it sounded hell. Like when it comes to making beats, you don't want so much. You don't want your melodies to have so much harmonics to it where the vocalist can't even get on it. So, you know, this this is how the whole beat um went. And as you can see, I also used some drum loops just to finish it up. Remember, using loops is a faster workflow and it's, it really sparks create creativity very fast. Like, especially for people that are beginning, this is a good way to start. You know, you have foundation that you could work off don't let any other producer tell you how to make music man like i'm tired of it if a producer say you're not a producer because you do this and that then just tell them dude i'm not a producer i'm me you feel me and then just leave it at that they can't argue with that <laughs> so here goes the whole thing yeah was hearing out the drum loop and then I thought about the bass line to it. So the bass line was like mm. Mm. That shit not, you feel me? Like I said, use these as inspiration. Don't let nobody get in your head cuz for years, man, I, I honestly I could have been in a whole better space right now if I didn't have that God in my head. Like, when I was starting off, people used to tell me this and that. Don't let people get in your head because it will slow you down, you know. Um, there's this one pro producer that hit me up. He's like, he was afraid to use samples because people would look at him like this. And I told him straight up, dude, fuck, fuck what anybody else think, dude. Make the music how you want to make it. And if it's easier for you, some of you producers, um, Y'all might not be the ones that are the creative ones that, you know, not to say not creative, but the ones that, you know, don't play the piano or do all that. But you know music and you know how to put it together. And that's why I told him, you're probably that person. You probably know how to put the music together. You probably know how to, when a piano, um, pianist and a guitarist is in the same room, you could be like, oh, it's like you're the orchestra now. You the, um, y'all know what I'm saying. You're orchestrating this shit now. And honestly, that's a good position to be in as, as well, you know. Don't let these old heads and all these bitter people tell you anything different. And that's pretty much it, man. Use these loops. Um, you could get some from Splice. You know, I'm not sponsored by them, but they're a good website. Um, or any of the, you know, producers like Superstar O or Internet Money. Get those loops, man, and make them inspire you to create something. And you as you can see, I didn't use the brass at the end of the day. So the only real loops I used was the drums. And I even did a vocal idea. You know, like every, this beat was made less than 10 minutes. This shows you like how fast your workflow can be. But so just listen to this. It was just some freestyle shit. Yeah, bitch. Yeah, bitch. Uh, yeah, bitch. Yeah. Gang shit, yeah. What you is, yeah. Fuck your bitch, yeah. Fuck your, yeah. Yeah. I'm on the road for the money. Let's get it. Trust when I say it get ugly. Yeah. Taking no risk cause I'm hungry. Yeah. Watch how they switch, they gon' love me. 
Where was you when I had nothing? Yeah. Did it all on my own, I was hustling. Why they act like they own, they be bluffing. I was down and I kept it 100. Yeah, all of this faking to make it shit. Niggas be capping, it's dangerous. They gonna test you, then take your shit. Been round street, niggas was raising it. Trust when I said you ain't made for this. My cousin a G, my nigga a G, my uncle a G. I'm keeping the G. Look in the mirror, I see G-O-D. That's it, man. So thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe and share with all your other producer friends that may find this helpful. And till then, it's your boy Jay Freshman. Thank you for watching.